Hey, what is up everybody? It's Alex from Everything for iPod. Today I have another PlayStation Vita video covering the user interface and home screen. Just kind of want to show you how that works. If you get, go ahead and hold that power button up at the top from a complete off position, it will power on. Of course, you don't have to do this if you are in standby mode, but from a complete off position, you will get a warning and the PlayStation logo will pop up. But if you're in standby or if you're powering on from a complete off position, you will get this lock screen where you just peel the page back and you will get to the home screen. If you have a game card in the system already, it will say please wait. And then this game for the game card that is on your home screen will bounce. So I have the little Deviance game card and it's just showing me what game card I have in in case I forget. Or if I want to play that game, just make it easier for me to spot it. So if I scroll through pages up and down, uh, works like that, up and down, not left to right. So if I launch an app, it actually spins in like that. That's a very neat animation. And then I will actually have to hit start. for, And that's for every application. You do have to hit start once you click on it. This is kind of what a standard loading screen looks like on the Vita. Not for games, but for simple tasks like updating and stuff like that. You're going to get that little blue window with the green loading bar. So here's trophies. It's basically just an application where you can see what achievements you got. So... Here for my little Deviance game, you can see if you click on a trophy that you have not earned yet, you see the grade, uh, if you've earned it or not, and how you need what you need to do in order to earn it. And then if I go down here to one I have earned, you can see what I got, when I got it, and what I did to get it. So that's trophies. If I hit PlayStation, the PlayStation button, I can go back to the home screen. There's many ways to get back to the home screen, actually. There's like four. You can tap that, tap home, you can swipe over. Uh, so there's a few different ways, and you can multitask with these little white boxes. I'll show you that in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and look at this real fast. You can see when I scroll through, the colors change. Um, you can set different colors, and if I tap on Wipeout, you can see if I go to click the manual, it actually says that you need the PS Vita card. And same with the game. So you need the specific PS Vita card to play a game. It will still be on your home screen if it's if the game card's not in. Uh, you can see Little Deviance loads up, so the game card is in there. But to access the manual and the game, even though the game card may not be in there, it's still going to be on your home screen. So you can kind of see what games you've played and whatnot which is kind of cool. And then if you want to launch the game, you can actually just go ahead and click start like any other application and it will load up just like normal. But if I go ahead and hit the PlayStation button right here, I'll go back to my home screen. So up there, up in the top, you can see all my applications I've opened. So I have the home on the farthest left then I have Little Deviance Wipeout 2048 and I have trophies. And to close applications, you can peel these pages back that will completely close them and probably save you some battery life. Up here in this circle in the top right hand corner, you can see all your notifications. So you can see like the last, I think it's five, I didn't really catch that. But you can click more and see all your notifications, all your downloads in a list. And you can delete notifications, you can see what time they're at. And then just peel that page back to close that window. So just like any other operating system right now, you can hold down on an icon to get into the editing mode. So to edit, you just hold down on applications and move them. So you can just move them anywhere you want. And I think this is really nice. You can move the applications around. You can really get it. So customize it to the way you want. I really like that and I wasn't expecting that. However, the buttons don't do anything on the home screen. I really dislike that. The rear touchpad doesn't do anything. You need to use the touchscreen, which I think is a little annoying. I would like it if you can use the D-pad to move around. Not necessarily the analog sticks or the rear touchpad, but at least the D-pad and the X button, you know, to launch stuff. That would be great in my opinion. Hopefully they'll bring that in an update. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch a few applications here to show you kind of the multitasking feature. So let me just launch a few things here. Get a lot of applications in there so I can show you how this really works. And so you can see I can swipe over to applications. I can also choose from them from just hitting the PlayStation button. I can see all my open applications there. 
So you can do this from any application. Let's say I'm in the settings application. I can just go ahead and click the PlayStation button twice and I will get kind of a preview of what's going on in each app. And then I can go ahead and select one and go ahead and just continue from where I left off. Very nice feature, I love the multitasking. And then to close the apps, you just swipe the page down. I kind of would have liked it if they did a close all feature in this, but that's pretty much it guys. Just a quick interface video. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more PS Vita videos in the future.